Good afternoon, everyone. This is the great feast. Without the presence of God within us, God the Holy Spirit, we are just another animal of this world. But with his presence within us, we are the children of God living with his, in his spiritual life beyond our material life. What a wondrous thing that is. We proceed with this Pentecost Sunday, beginning, if I can manage with my cursor to bring it up. Oh, there we go. The Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. The Holy Spirit both enabled them to communicate miraculously and also impelled and ignited them to move the Jewish pilgrims to accept Jesus as the Messiah. They were on fire with the missionary zeal of the Lord. The Gospel reading, John chapter 20, verses 19 to 23. Jesus appeared to his disciples, commissioning them to go out and seek others to be believers in him. Then he breathed the Holy Spirit into them to be the life-giving force in them to enable others to live in the holiness of God by forgiving them their sins. In our third reading, the uh, from the uh, first Corinthians chapter 12, verses 3b to 7, then uh, verses 12 to 13. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Only the Holy Spirit can breathe into us God's life so that we could do God's work. The Holy Spirit is God living within us from our baptism and confirmation, who enables us to live the Holy to live the spiritual life in our material bodies. Without the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, we cannot live that spiritual life that is infinitely beyond the physical, material life that all the other animals of this world live. Psalm 104. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, fill us with God's spiritual life. Jesus said in John chapter 3, verses 4 to 7, None can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Holy Spirit. What is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I have told you. You must be born from above. That birth is the life that the Spirit who dwells within us gives us.